Hey, this is Jackie and Bobby with Ascension. Oh, I keep, I'm looking up there. I need to be looking at look the camera. Look at the okay, soul sorry. of the camera, honey. Hey, this is Jackie and Bobby with Ascension Presents. Today, we're going to talk about the best marriage advice we'd ever received. Because some people give really bad marriage advice. It's true. If you're getting married, or maybe you are married, you've heard it all, uh, you know, take it or leave it. But here's a few things that helped us in our journey along the way. Number one, your spouse is not God. What? I know. It's the temptation to make any loved one into an idol, and we worship the very ground they walk on, which I do. Oh, thank you. Which I do, honey. But the person <laughs> beside you is not God himself, and so it's important to not put this immense pressure of life and death upon their shoulders to not make them into this perfect uh, creature that can fulfill all your desires because no human person can. That movie, Jerry Maguire, he said, you complete me and every girl's heart shattered in a million pieces. Oh my gosh, that's so romantic. But the truth is that no person can complete you because they're not God. And so um, I think that was really freeing when we first heard that before getting married. It was freeing because it was like, okay, like if I make a mistake, that's okay. And I don't have to be perfect. To know that only God can satisfy the desires of my heart. No, no human being, no relationship, um, no amount of money or, or addiction or whatever, but only God can do that. And so it frees us to just be who God created us to be and uh, not put pressure that you have to be perfect or that I have to be perfect. Number two, <laughs> communication. We cannot uh, talk about this one enough. Yeah. Uh, it, it will save families and cities and communities and nations. Communications will save us all. Yeah, when you communicate, um, you don't become resentful. Um, I think one of the worst things to do in a marriage or relationship is is to be silent because even fighting, even arguing is good. It's a good sign of communication um, that you're allowing your spouse to know your needs. And when you don't share what you need, it can build into a lot of resentment. And then, you know, we, we know couples who along the way, this resentment has built for 10 years and they're like, I can't do this anymore. So communication, whether that's, again, even arguing is, is a healthy thing to do in a marriage. Uh, obviously healthy arguing, not dysfunctional arguing. But it's good to talk about our needs and um, what you need, what I need. And I prefer to bury my issues down <laughs> deep where they will just reside and, and bubble up whenever it's most inappropriate. But <laughs> no, <laughs> Jackie helps me communicate. I do. The introvert, the extrovert, we help each other. <laughs> Which leads into um, uh, actually another piece of advice we got. A friend of ours who had been married for a long time, we said, you know, what's, what would you suggest? Like, what, what are some good pieces of advice? And he said they realized in their marriage... Um, he would basically, he always needed to be right. And his wife just wanted to be listened to. And so I don't, that might be a male, female thing. It might be an introvert, extrovert thing. It might be a personality thing. But a lot of times in, in a relationship, you know, you might have someone who's like, I need to be right. And so you'll fight to the death. And then the other person might just be like, I just want, I want someone to listen and be affirmed. <laughs> you. <laughs> Usually me. Right. And so we kind of need to figure that out in your relationship. Kind of what's going on at the basis of your arguments or um, what's, what's really at the, the bottom of a lot of these things. Because you'll argue about stupid things and, uh, you know, sometimes it's like, what's really going on here? Um, it may not be the real issue. So yeah. be ready to listen and be ready to lay down your pride when you're just trying to win. And affirm, affirm, affirm. That's right, honey. <laughs> so next point we uh, has helped us a lot in our marriage is to work on yourself before you even get into a relationship. I think sometimes we enter a relationship thinking the other person will fix us or again, go back to number one, complete us or make us whole. But we bring into the relationship everything we're bringing in. So stuff we have not dealt with, uh, things from the past, things that haven't healed. The best thing you can do for your relationship, your future marriage, is to start working on yourself now. Uh, to be a saint, to be as holy as you can be now before you even uh, step onto the altar for whatever vows you're gonna take. Yeah, if you've got stuff going on, if, you, if you're dealing with depression, anxiety, um, if you're dealing with any kind of past abuse, listen, going to therapy, we're, we're all about being 
you know, healthy and whole. And because again, you bring that into your marriage and someone's not gonna fix, your, your spouse is not gonna fix your depression. You know, again, they're not God, um, but you, you might need to see a therapist, a, a psychologist, and that is totally okay. Um, if you're dealing with addictions, if you're dealing with pornography, again, you bring that into your marriage, it doesn't all of a sudden go away when you put a ring on it, right? Like you have to practice virtue now, the virtue of chastity. And we have friends, I like this saying too, is be the kind of person you want to marry. So if you want to marry someone who's patient or kind, if you want to marry someone who's not going to cheat, then you have, we have to practice that right before we get married while we're single. We have to practice those virtues of patience and, and joy and again, um, faithfulness. So be the kind of person you want to marry. If you don't want to marry someone who's out getting drunk on the weekends and are partying it up, then you also need to practice that of not being that kind of person. We're all about being as healthy and holy as you can be during, during those single years. And obviously if you're already married, then to continue to work on your your issues because we all got stuff right like there's even a song about it like i got issues right yeah we all got issues i'm not okay and you're not okay <laughs> but that's okay all right and the last one is is look at it as friendship with romance and we get caught up in the romance of relationships we get caught up in the the love songs and the flowers and the mixtapes but looking at your loved one at first as a friend are you even friends with this person are you can you have uh, conversations of depth? Can you wrestle with the big things of life? Is there a friendship underneath the romance? Because uh, sometimes the romance fades and when it's you're going through work what? and... <laughs> the girl's like, what? It never fades ever. No, never, honey. Best type of friendship is a virtuous friendship. And that's the type of friendship where you have a common goal. It's not just, oh, cool, we both like doing this. And like, we both like hiking. We both like bowling. And, you know, because when those interests change and you change, um, then maybe you're not going to be friends anymore. But when you have a goal, a common goal like heaven, which as Christians, as Catholics, that's our common goal. And in our marriage, our goal is to get each other to heaven. I'm like, yeah, I want to marry somebody who is my best friend, who is also planning on you know helping me get to heaven. Um, they're going to journey with me. Some people get married out of lust. Some people get married out of security and, and wealth. Um, but really, a really healthy marriage should be based on a true friendship, a friendship where you're you love being with each other. I love being with you. Mm, shucks. Some of even my best girlfriends, after a couple days, I'm like, see you later. I mean, I love you, but I can't spend that much time with you. So this, this is a person that you're gonna wanna spend the rest of your life with and they have to be your friend. It's not just, ooh, we have good chemistry. You need that romance, um, but you need a friendship. A priest told me once that in a relationship, make sure that the reality is better than the romance. And my young self said, what? And <laughs> now, now I get it. Now I understand that the romance is quick and, and you know, we're up talking until three in the morning and we get caught up in this person. And then the reality sets in and maybe we got in over our head. Maybe we didn't really know the fullness of the person as time goes on, that, that initial burst of romance fades to the reality. But in a relationship that intense as a marriage, the reality ought to be even better. The reality of getting to know this person and who they are, this is even better than the romance of the, the first days and weeks and months. Uh, as the years have gone on, it's just, uh, the reality is awesome. To be on the same team with someone, to be going through ups and downs of life together, what a gift and, and what a true maker of holiness when we approach it rightly. And it's not just about the physical, although that's a, an important part. You need to obviously be attracted to the person. The beard is clearly my favorite part. It's about that I can actually have intellectual conversations with him. He's my best friend. I can, we can read books and discuss them. Um, we can, you know, sit in silence at the, at the beach and just have a wonderful day in silence. But, but that we can talk about things. It's not just a, um, which a lot of people today, again, it's just about the physical, like in, in having sex or doing whatever. It's like, okay, that's a part of the, the romance, but the friendship needs to be this a, a strong point, and that's what a marriage that marriages last, you know, a long time. I have to be married to you for a long time. Shucks. Till death do us part, actually. So those are some tips that we've learned, or mm -hmm. uh, were told to us going into marriage, and wanted to pass those on to you. It's a great adventure, and um, pray God blesses you all. Amen. From all of us at Ascension Presents, God bless. <laughs>